Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sealer Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as the United States. We remain at war with both Britain and Germany, and we're now under blockade, but have no fear, we'll soon crush those British dogs, I have no doubt. But they'll do it anyway. Hmm. Britain's pulled all its forces out of Santa, where'd they go? Hmm, there's a bunch in the Indian Ocean. They might just be showing up shortly. Well, we'll see. Got to take it turn by turn. We're blockaded again? Just because the Caribbean? That's what I thought. I don't know who's going to be involved in this fight, but... um. If necessary, we'll run to Venice. Oh my god, why do we only have... We have one light cruiser. They had better also only have one light cruiser. Because I still had capital ships in this region, if not as many as before. If it's just the British, they shouldn't have that much here. I mean, they'll be operating at a Trinidad, but... Do I know what their target is? It'll probably be one of these batteries or something. That's usually the kind of thing they like to target. How long till daylight? Not too long. Don't get lost, buddy. Oh. Oh, crikey. All right. It's daylight, and there's an entire fleet right there. Um... Let's turn away from that very quickly. It's British, by the look of it. But there's a lot more of them than there are of us. Although... One Constance class with six six inch five six-inch guns, and one Carisbert class with ten five-inch guns, We are outgunned, but I could theoretically see a Juno getting lucky in that kind of engagement. Maybe if we could lure them over to... What is this coastal battery? Yes, I just wanted to know how big it was. It's four inches, that's kind of pathetic, okay. Well... Let's... See if we can harass them a little, I don't know. We've got to stay beyond torpedo range, I think. Pretty much for sure. Um, okay, alright, there's three of them. We cannot fight this. Didn't see the champion class before, but that's too much. Because that's an extra seven six-inch guns. And that's that's officially. We're just gonna have to run back to Maracaibo. Unless we get a lucky chance to engage them on more favorable terms, basically. Would you stick with the force? You're supposed to be attached to the destroyer formation. Why don't you get into it, please? That patrol boat's really not noticing this whole engagement, huh? Destroyers. Please. Stay with Raleigh. Oh, 
Or if you're gonna drop this far behind, at least try to launch some torpedoes at them, maybe. No? Couple of torpedoes in the water. Didn't hit anything. Didn't really deter them much. Mm. Okay, Raleigh, try to cover for the destroyers a little. That's good. Damn it. How many torpedoes did you launch? Ooh, a lot, actually. More than half. Yeah, that's true. The training hasn't had a fail. Well, yeah, I think it might go into effect after this turn or something, honestly. Because it was only like four months from being finished when the war actually started. How far are we? We're 60 nautical miles from Maracaibo. Um, did they all actually make 31 knots? No, the Kairisperts only make 28. They shouldn't be able to catch us then, really. Hmm. Got a hit. Got another hit. Maybe if they chase us for long enough, they'll sink. I think we just hit that destroyer. Yeah, so much for your little plan to send them ahead to torpedo us. Uh, no, stick together. Okay, they're going to sink that port of transport. Let me see if I can do anything to... Yeah, bye. Yeah, they killed that too quickly. I can't really do anything about it. Is it worth trying? One more time to torpedo them, maybe? Whoa. They seem to just always know when I launch torpedoes and duck away immediately. Alright, that's 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 all we're gonna do. Turn her back around. Although Honestly, they're not um if there were only two of them and not three, I would try it, but... Because their gunnery has been pretty bad, but, um... It's just a little too much. What are you doing, Stockton? Get back here. All of you just get into port. Did I? Oh, yeah. Um, well, what is this? Oh, yeah, it's a... No, this is a bombardment target class landed to a land installation with zero two-inch guns. It's not got guns. I wish. Fortunately... Ports are magic, perfect refuges, which they cannot possibly target or follow us into, so we'll be fine. Uh, 
They might technically win, but they won't sink any ships at least. Oh, there's what? I think that's probably a wild exaggeration, but maybe not. All right, I get it. There's a lot of ships out there. Nothing I can do about them whatsoever now. Hopefully... The Germans get tired of starving to death and sitting in port for lack of fuel and leave pretty soon, but I wouldn't be hopeful of it. The real best chance is if we can just take uh, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland quickly, and if we can secure our east coast, then... We can move a lot of forces down here. We lost a corvette and three transports and sank nothing, so they officially win, but it wasn't exactly very... Okay, now we have our training. I don't for the life of me understand how we're officially blockaded. I think it's just because they have superiority in the Caribbean, but like... Just because they control one out of our three... There's not even... The only major port really is New Orleans down there. The Pacific and Atlantic coasts have the bulk of the... Um, well... I could probably... Honestly, no. Get out of here, army. Samoa? How can they invade? Hmm. Oh, good. We're, are we, have I always been allowed to invade two things at once? I didn't think you were. That's fascinating. In that case, we should probably invade... Um, Oh, we sure can. Hmm. I don't know how I never knew that. It's just trade territories all across the world. If they kick us out of the South Pacific, and I kick them out of the East Coast, that's a fair trade. Two battle cruisers and an aircraft carrier they have over there. I can't stop that, but I can take Hong Kong and Kwang Chuan in retaliation, so... Yes, apparently it is only until the forces land, which I swear... I didn't think how that's how it was in previous games of this series. Maybe that's a change that's been made. Or I've just always been stupid. I don't know. In any case, apparently we can simultaneously invade Nova Scotia and Kwang Chuan now, so that's what I'm going to do. Where is the rest of the... Okay, so the bulk of the British fleet did that thing where they sailed from Britain to India and then turned around and are going back, so that's good for them. Heavy resistance here, but there's no ships, really. Except Britain moved a bunch of ships back there. So... I, too, am going to continue playing the... juggling game of... sending all my ships back and forth constantly. Ah, that's a fair point. Didn't really think of that when I only built four of them. All right, let's...
let's lay down um a couple more. It might just be a matter of making sure we have five when the war is over or after the war is over again, honestly. And destroyers. I can't actually afford to build very many of these, but just a few for replacements. If we have to delay another Pennsylvania, then so be it. This is why I needed to not give the army funding though, because can't actually afford to let them have it right now. Okay. Okay. Hopefully if we win, we'll actually take Nova Scotia the following turn. That is somewhat usually what happens with major battles. And this looks like a major battle, although... Okay, it's going to be daylight. Moderate breeze. We have the battleships. New Jersey... Washington and Minnesota, which I believe are the whole Minnesota class, yeah. The light cruiser San Francisco with them up here. The battle cruiser USS Constellation. And the heavy cruisers Huron and Frederick. And back here, the aircraft carriers USS Hornet and USS Yorktown with the light cruisers Fresno and Spokane. Apparently one of our submarines is lurking off the area. Annoyingly, we are directly off of Nova Scotia, or off of Halifax, so they will have some aircraft that can intervene. But I think there's only, like, I don't know how big their airfield there was, actually. It might have only been 20. At most, okay, it's 40. That's a lot less than what my carriers can put up, so we should be alright-ish. For now, it's basically just a matter of waiting for full daylight. Interesting that my aircraft took off at dawn time already. Oh, holy hell, I found them. They were within 15,000 yards of us, basically. Um, okay, you need to sharply turn and get back towards the battleship force. The battleships need to come up to their best speed and get up there. And what the hell are we shooting at? I see. That's a battleship. That's probably a battle cruiser. Um, but we're not... Far. I mean, the battleships are already in range, so we're not hugely isolated. You need to swing really hard west, though. Okay. Confirmed. One Camperdown class battleship, which... Two-inch deck, we reckon. That's actually really rather bad in modern combat. And this Queen Mary class battlecruiser, aside from the cross deck fire, only has a six and a half inch belt. So, actually, this point blank range is the worst possible range for her. Our guns should go through that belt like absolute butter. Can't help but notice there's a ton of torpedoes in the water. Not really sure where we'd maneuver to try to avoid them, though, so. Could one of those at least. Yes! <laughs> Okay, maybe our torpedo training's paying off already. I think that was basically luck, but... Also, I think Huron is probably dead, but that's worth it if we sink a capital ship. Have I not? Did I not repeatedly say that Britain had not even come close to giving their battlecruisers sufficient armor. 
this right here is exactly why I said that. Goodbye, HMS Queen Mary. Oh, what a bunch of dumb bastards the Brits are. All right. So as far as I can tell, the only capital ship they have right now left is Camperdown. Oh, by the way, that was a 9-inch gun off of HMS Frederick that just penned their turret. I wish it was a battleship gun. It was not. Um, that said, the actual HMS Queen Mary, I'm fairly certain, is one of the battle cruisers that blew up at Jutland. So that's, um... This does feel a little familiar. Um, yeah. Now let's see if we can just 3v1 poor Camper down here. Okay, Huron and Frederick are both just dead. Well, actually, actually Frederick's okay. She must have just taken engine damage. Huron is pretty dead. They got absolutely in the way of that capital ship fight. Another ship? Oh, are there two more battleships up there? That would uh, make it a lot more even if there were. Sure, pick up some survivors. Oh, it's proper full daylight now. Oh, and um, turns out that Niobe-class heavy cruiser was a resolution-class battleship. Who knew? Kind of a major identification error there. Why are there torpedoes here? Okay. Constellation, are you alright, by the way? Oh yeah, just fine. Well, let's just, um... Barring the actual arrival of any such additional battleships, which, that might just be this force getting reported, weirdly. Um, I say we just annihilate these bastards. Because they're... I don't know if I believe that this is that crippled already, but... I mean, they're badly outgunned, so... Oh, it's dead in the water. I guess it's that badly crippled already. Okay. Um, does somebody want to go torpedo him? Just to be on the safe side? I'd like Camperdown, too, though. She's more valuable than Resolution, honestly. <laughs> okay, Britain. This is getting a little sad now. Are the CVs doing anything? No, they are not. They're just sitting back there. However, I'm beginning to think we're not going to need them. Um, but... Yeah, all right, let's see here. How big a strike can we come up with? Yeah, they're not ready to launch yet. Oh, strike exceeds deck load, too. This is always annoyingly complicated to do, actually. What is the maximum deck load? Actually, what's the range? It's all of, like, 40 miles. I think we can probably handle a heavy, deck load, a heavy bomb load. I don't think we actually need fighter escorts either, so let's say just these. Ready. Um, I think that's all I have to do to get them to start getting ready, but I also think the Brits might be all dead by the time they're ready to launch, so 
if I'm wrong, it probably does not matter. Because, okay, we're just absolutely pulverizing Camperdown right now. Oh, enemy aircraft. Well, that'd be from... Actually, hard to say. Could be from Halifax. Could be from this rumored carrier of theirs out there. Which... Constellation, why don't you go deal with that? Did we just get attacked by a grand total of three dive bombers? Boy, I'm petrified. I think that Camperdown might be dead, guys. Did we actually manage to... No, I think resolution sank. You go... Oh yeah, resolution exploded. That's what happened there. Forgot about that. Camperdown apparently isn't going to explode, so that's a plus. I don't even see why not, honestly. Just luck of the draw, but... You guys just... can't be bothered to launch torpedoes, or what? Just put, like, four into her side. She's stationary, for God's sake. Oh, there's some. Okay. That'll do it. It really should, anyway. What's that there? CA... I'm hoping we can just find their battle cruisers. I don't know where they are, or I mean, not, not battle cruisers, uh, carrier. I do think they probably have at least one. It's probably up here. Approaching my carrier division. Well, four dive bombers. We have eight fighters in our cap. If we don't sink all of them, I mean, shoot them all down, that would be kind of a failure, honestly. Apparently they managed to dive bomb us before we even attacked them. Oh. That's, uh... Kind of a disappointing air defense there, guys. Oh. But now our cap's here, and they are wiped out. Alright, fair enough. Could've been worse. You guys had better not let this fire just, like, burn this ship to a crisp or something. Um, okay, there's a couple of destroyers still hanging around there. Not too worried about that. That's a CA. Not too worried about that, although... Maybe we fan out a little. Our battle divisions are kind of isolated, but... I doubt there's any British heavies worth the word left anywhere. That appears to be one heavy cruiser and some destroyers. Unfortunately, if their carrier was at all smart, it would have just fled into Halifax by now. As soon as we just rolled over the British battleship force and came north, but... Probably... Honestly, it's probably still out here. If it exists. Yorktown spots an unknown ship. No, oh, I think that's just one of the destroyers. Although we should probably be a little careful with these. Maybe just uh, keep heading southeast. There's just a gaggle of destroyers stuck against the coastline here. As long as we stay out of what should be torpedo range-ish, that should be a complete turkey shoot. You could 
stop landing shots to every side of Creasy and actually just hit her. No? Okay. What is second battle division according to the... It's this, yeah. I feel like... I saw first battle division at some point. Hmm. Based on the angles, I'm beginning to think that all of these are actually just coming from Halifax. Okay. Yorktown is getting her fire under control. Maybe... Maybe you should come north and just, um... Actually, maybe what should really happen is the rest of the fleet should just all retire onto the carriers. No. Oh. Well, that's bad luck, Taylor. That might be the first ship we've actually lost in this battle. Hmm. Uh, I think she's fine. I think... Yeah, it's it got worse, but now it's under control a little more again. I don't appreciate this whole British fleet just sort of getting stuck on the coast back there, but I'm just going to head back south. I think we've pretty much sunk everything worth sinking that's going to come out of port and fight. Yes, pick up survivors. Even their destroyers have magazine detonations? What are you even engaging, Constitution? This stupid heavy cruiser needs to just go away or die. Ooh, Constellation is really low on ammunition. The random destroyers scattered all about kind of worry me, because they could just do a nice suicidal little torpedo attack and maybe get lucky, but... Not that they're likely to, but... This gun accuracy is not inspiring confidence, though. Guys, all it takes is, like, one 16-inch shell. Just hit it. Okay. Did we just kill it from, like, sheer near misses or something? Um. You're actually all ready. Why don't you, um... Your target is actually just going to be the Halifax Air Base. And go. Uh, yes. Right, yes, that issue. Well... Leave the Yorktowns behind, then. Hey. It says strike exceeds deck load now. Does that mean we're just not doing it, or... Oh, no. Ready. Flying. Okay, we lost what we could. Maybe we'll teach them a little bit of a let. My destroyers choose to fire torpedoes at the weirdest times. That one might actually hit. Oh my god. Well done.
Yeah, yeah. I mean, a 16-inch shell on a destroyer is just, like, radical overkill. But... What's that hitting? They're not giving up on attacking the carrier, so... And Yorktown is still on fire, which is really annoying. She might, in fact, be pulling a Lexington here. All right. Guys, that destroyer's already dead. Just leave it alone. Lansdale, great job. Superb seamanship. There you go, buddy. Um, I'm going to have them slow to a halt, because I feel sometimes that that helps with damage control, but... No, it's not getting better. Okay, well, that'll be embarrassing, but... Aircraft carriers are a lot cheaper than a battlecruiser and two battleships, so... Still a pretty clear win. We're hitting it. I don't know if it'll do any real good, but... We dive-bombed something, all right. An air base. Yes, at old, cheap, immovable targets. Fair point. Yorktown. Can't help but notice that you have no structure left. And this is just a your, the entire last, like, 30 entries of your log are just fire spreads, fire reduced, fire spreads. Mm, okay. I'm just going to have you get sailing again, and maybe you'll get back to Portland in time for the fire department to put it out. We're probably... Honestly, we might be almost out of range for land-based attacks pretty shortly, and anyway, they hopefully we damage their airbase, so... I'm not overly worried about it. Hornet should still be maintaining a cap anyway, although it's three fighters apparently, which isn't exactly spectacular, but... I can modify that, actually, can't I? Yeah. Heavy cap, please, and... I think the search pattern is irrelevant. Um, just I'm not going to launch any more airstrikes, so... Good grief. Maybe it was better when she was stopped. Yeah, it would definitely highlight some uh, damage control problems on carriers. I am beginning to think that she actually will just... Yep. Okay. Well. Sorry, Yorktown. Maybe try to be better at damage control next time. It's 
Somebody should probably take survivors off or finish her off with torpedoes or something, but um, didn't get prompted to do that, so I'm just going to ignore her. Why do we keep going to... Oh, I guess the carriers have to for air operations, huh? Maybe you could not get stuck on the coastline also. That's a lot to ask, I know. Well, at least the battleship force performed exactly as hoped, and then some. This is going to be a, a big humiliation from the British perspective. Perspective. Kind of stunned it took her so long to sink. Actually, who is out here, by the way? Oh, it's Huron. Well, bye. Because I thought she was pretty much going to sink about five minutes after the battle started. Okay. So... A bit of a damage control issue, robbing us of the very best of the victory, but still a pretty comprehensive victory. In sum total, we lost the destroyer Taylor, which was unlucky enough to get hit by a torpedo. An aerial torpedo? Oh, they did have a CVL. Where'd it go? Probably just into port. Um... Yeah, lost the destroyer Taylor to a torpedo from their carrier at that. We lost Huron to just got absolutely wrecked by a bunch of 15-inch shells at 5,000 yards immediately after the start of the battle. Which is rough for her. And we lost Yorktown to one single 500-pound bomb Apparently also off of their carrier. Oh, two 500-pound bombs. Huh. Well, she was fighting fires literally all day for seven hours before she finally couldn't keep them under control anymore. Not um, a very impressive effort, but oh well. We sank in return three destroyers, the... HMS Tartar, HMS Foil, and not this, HMS Coquette, which, oh, this was the one that had flash fires in it, yep. Plus, the battle cruiser, HMS Queen Mary, which was destroyed by a flash fire thanks to a 9-inch shell from USS Frederick. Plus, the battleship's HMS Magnificent of the Resolution class, which was just pretty much pulverized by heavy shells even before USS Minnesota caused a flash fire in her. And HMS Majestic, which at least managed to go down without a flash fire, but still just got pulverized in combat with our Minnesota class and then finished off with torpedoes. So, it's a pretty crushing blow to the British, um, I don't know where Port Mouton is, I'm just going to call it Halifax. Pretty crushing blow to the British battle line. Thanks for watching, sailors. I hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.